flip them? Can you flip them? No. You need the net? Yeah. You can just flip them. <laughs> That's what we got. It's pretty windy. Yeah, he's, he's a little guy. He's tiny. Good job. Got one. Got one, Grandpa. Yep. I think it's a pike, too. It's definitely a pike. He's fighting like a pike. There we go. <laughs> Got a nice pike, guys. Oh, I could just tell by the way he was fighting that was a pike and not a smallmouth. Yeah. Got a nice pike here. Woo! There we go. There he is. I think there's life jackets in the live world. second pike today. I'll, we're just using these little red eye shads. He's got a bigger one on. He's got a 3 8. Sorry for that wind, but he's got a 3 8. I just got a, a fourth ounce on mine. Whew. Finally got something to eat. Are we gonna are you gonna clean it too tonight? Are you gonna eat it? No he's just gonna clean it. So we're gonna do a, we're gonna show you how to clean this pike kind of tricky because they got those Y bones. Got one, Grandpa. This is smallmouth, though. Oh, it's a nice pike, Grandpa. I know. I'll net him. Get him, get him. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, I couldn't net him. See, this is a pretty good net. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. You can lay him on the ground. Oh, I didn't see that he was out. Oh, another pike. Oh, another one. Oh my god, where's those pliers? Just got back from fishing for these pike. Now we're. Now we're gonna show you how to clean them. I caught two and he caught one today. I think that's how it goes. So now we're just gonna show you how to clean them and we might cook them and eat them tonight, but we might not. So we'll just see how it goes. But we're gonna show you how to clean pike because they're kind of tricky because they got those Y bones in them. These were the two we got, by the way. I don't know if I showed you them or not both together, but these are the two we're gonna be cleaning. They're not too bad. They're not that big either. So first you just flay it like a yeah. So you first you just flay it like any other fish. It's down the yeah. You cut this. Cut the guts out. No, just cut this fin off. Oh, the fins off. Just this fin. So you cut that back fin off. I don't even know if that's the back fin. It's like the middle fin out of the two fins. Cause isn't that bone? I'm pretty sure that's bone, right? Lots of belly crap. Just fins. Yeah, what you want to do is you just want to do it just like you do any other fish. You want to get close to the, to the backbone. So just go down the backbone and then
in his stomach? What's that? What's in his stomach? What's in his stomach? Yeah. stomach nothing in the stomach no. okay so now this is the important part the whole reason why pike are hard to clean the Y bones mm -hmm. so where are the where are they located on the clay I don't use the big knife I use the, oh you, you don't use that knife I use a smaller knife so you can see where they are yeah you can kind of see you can see where they are when there's not there's no there's none back that way you just want to make a cut and then tilt the knife a little bit more. Add a little bit more. You can take this right off if you want or just roll it back. It's like what I'm doing, just rolling it back. You can see the bones, they're right there. Right there the bones are. They're, right, they're all along here. Then you go on this side, because there's no bones from there to there. And then you go right along the, the edge of the bone line, tilt your knife a little bit because it's on an angle. Okay, then you run it again. Then you run it again. Now that's your Y bone. There, there's, there's no the bones. Y bones, and then there's then you just skin it like. Yep. If you've seen the fish, then you just skin it. Let me just go back like this. Then you just go down and skin it. So when you're taking the Y bones out, you just tilt the knife. And then that makes it easier. And then you don't lose all that meat on the top. That's where I made my mistake on the first. I took all that meat off the top because I, I didn't tilt the knife. That's See, where I made my mistake. So there's no bones in here at all. No, no bones. You don't have to cook it up that way either. You can cook it up in a smaller piece. Just slice it up, make it easier to cook. There's no bones. There's no bones in there at all. Okay, we'll show it to you one more time. It's easier, it's easier on the bigger ones. It's easier on the bigger ones than on the smaller ones. Yeah, these pike are kind of a little small, but... Same thing, you can see the bones. They're right here. Right there they are, you can see them. You just want to go right along that edge. You can actually feel them a little bit with your knife. You can still feel them yet. And then, all you just need to do is turn that knife a little bit. I, and I do the smaller one because I have more control over the smaller one. More control. It's just like right back and you can see the bones right there. Right there are the bones all the way along there. And like I said, you can cut it off if you want. And then here the, here's the other bone right here. You can feel it. You can feel it. How long do the Y bones go down the fillet? The whole fillet or just? Well, just half of it. Half of the fillet? Yep. Just half of it. Just half of the fillet. Looks like that. Sure. Well, that bigger one is easier. Well, you start with the smaller one, then we'll get the bigger one. You can see that the Y bones are all yeah. up there. Yeah. There's there. No, there's no bones in there. Boneless northern fillet. There you go. And that is how you fillet a northern pike. Perfectly with no bones in it at all. If you do it the right way.